all these long walks and you know get into the details but we were we just we were very attracted immediately so that happened in the afternoon and then that evening we went to Florbel Suarez's house for a dinner a lasagna dinner and there were you know Roger Mills was there Keith Van Valden several of the nurses Karen Miller and some of the people early involved in the three principles maybe a dozen people and Sidney Banks with his wife and so that night I met Sid Banks for the first time and we're we had a nice meal and we're just everybody's chit-chatting and I'm being like a psychologist family therapist interviewing anyone so what position in the family are you and you know just my old bullshit you know <laughs> pardon me I was just doing what I do my habit and then all of a sudden Sid started to speak and everybody else got really quiet and respectful and I just kept talking to the person next to me not noticing <laughs> That Sid had started. Someone finally kind of elbowed me, and I went, "Oh, oh, whoa, whoa, God! I did something wrong here. What? Oh, this is weird. What's going on?" I, so I was kind of taken, like, "Why are they so respectful? You know, this is what is this a cult or something? What is this? You know, I was very, very nervous." And then he started speaking, and 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 I don't, for the life of me, know what he said, but. I had a dual reaction to everything he said. When my heart was like exploding with hearing the truth, the simplicity, and the, the, just the spiritual energy behind it was very powerful. My intellect, on the other hand, wanted to run the hell out of the room as fast as I could. But that would be too embarrassing to run out of the room. And I had just met Michael, so I wasn't going to leave her. So I, I, I stuck in there. And he kept talking and talking. And I have all these yeah buts in my mind. Yeah, but what about the past? you got to work through the past. Yeah, but what about feelings and emotions that are trapped in the body? And you have to get that out and beat pillows and scream and primal scream and all that. And I wouldn't say it, but he would respond to the question as though I had said it out loud. And that was like, whoa, woo, woo, this is weird. This is spooky. What is, go I want to get out of here. How can I save face and eject like a pilot in a plane, the ejection chair? I wanted to get out of there. But then I wanted to stay because it was, truth drew me in. So that was my first encounter with Sid. And after I came home, I didn't know what hit me. I'd fallen in love. I'd met an enlightened human being who completely pulled the rug out from everything I had been working for for 10 years of education, graduate school, and I read hundreds if not thousands of books and had this system of how to do things, and it just collapsed. And I went back the next more Monday to see my clients, and I was like, I I didn't know what to say. It was like someone who erased my brain of everything I knew. And I felt naked, exposed. But I would share a little bit about what I was seeing myself. And my clients would stop and they'd look at me and God, why didn't you tell me that before? That is so powerful. And I would say, well, what did I say? Tell me what I said. <laughs> and I would hear it and I'd go, wow, that is really powerful. That came out of me? I said that? <laughs> like I was speaking from beyond my intellect, from my wisdom, and helping my clients was teaching me the principles. So that's how I began to learn the principles was seeing the impact it was having on my clients who were mostly chemically dependent, alcoholic, drug addicts, or family members thereof. A lot of incest, a lot of sexual abuse, a lot of oh, serious problems. And they were experiencing mental health for the first time. Well, that's why I got in the field. I wanted to help people be happy. That was my goal.